we are going to discuss on what is fundamental research and an applied research how to deal with these concepts while doing your research now first of all uh, fundamental research is also called pure research or basic research when we look into some books out there uh, so but here let us remember as a technical world and what do you mean by it is fundamental research is simply a research without any practical uh, solution oriented uh, or evidence based implications let us put as simple as that let us go, not go into very technical terms it will become very difficult to understand so for example let me take this water bottle here now we have uh, to understand how many liters of water is here in this bottle now this is a fundamental research now we can easily observe you can easily estimate you can easily ask someone or, or you can easily analyze by mere observation so it could be like half liter that is as simple as that so there is no there is no evidence so it's a knowledge okay so it is a just an expansion of knowledge or if someone is asking us how many liters of water is here so we just tell them so it is just a fundamental research a pure research basic research so there is no uh, nothing to prove that it is a half liter of water and what is applied research that is the difference that we are trying to understand today so applied research is something that you apply something and show the evidence that and bring some new thing in the research so that is called applied research now for example if you want to show uh, how pure is this water the same example in different way how pure is it, this this water now we don't know what are the purity levels of this water i might have mixed anything in this which is not visible okay i might have mixed something which uh, humans cannot uh, consume so it becomes very difficult a liquid for human being so we need to prove that this water is probably not good for a human being so what I have to do I can't say just this water is very dangerous to consume so you need to do an applic applied research here that is you need to uh, conduct some uh, evidence-based observations it is not uh, uh, knowledge-based observations then it becomes fundamental research so ed evidence-based observations and you need to prove yes uh, the levels of this water from the observation from the experiment from this instrument is this from this instrument is this and that's why the water is a uh, little bit uh, not good so there is an evidence that that's it it is very limited applied research because as long as the evidence is with us it works if evidence vanishes then it's not called applied research uh, it is a big subject but uh, many researchers really feel difficult so I would like to just explain in simple terms but this is not as simple when we go into very tech technique techniques of using it uh, using them in our research so fundamental research and applied research both can be conducted in various forms like interviews questionnaire surveys observations or experience based experience based mostly like fundamental research so when you attach evidence to some any form of method you take while researching but when it is evidence based you apply something then and you make it a solution oriented for the improvement of technology then it is called uh, applied research wherein fundamental research is just a research when and where you just derive and understanding understand things just by mere experience from your childhood or observation from your childhood that's it that's it it becomes uh, a fundamental research now let me try to give hard hard examples uh, from research point of view slowly 
uh, maybe it varies uh, it varies according to the subjects uh, whichever the subject is for example we can take coronavirus itself the training one now there is a study there is a study conducted on how a study on how uh, the symptoms of coronavirus look like now is this fundamental research or an applied research now this becomes mostly fundamental research because we see the symptoms I get cough he gets cough he gets cough he gets cough so it becomes a fundamental research we understand okay it is it is corona so that is when you observe you experience something and you derive it so fundamental research need not be corona again need not be correct again so at the same time let us take this topic or a study on how let us take vaccine okay there is a study conducted to uh, for a vaccine to get rid of corona so this is a study it, it becomes an applied research it's not fundamental research because we don't know they are going to discover or invent or find something some vaccine new that can stop coronavirus so that is when it becomes an applied research it's not just uh, a study on the symptoms of coronavirus it's not just by observation and seeing or just by any questionnaire or anything whereas here we have applied research they are finding a vaccine for coronavirus so they need to do an applied research with a lot of evidence evidences and get approved from the organizations so this is what uh, i'm trying to explain from practical examples research point of view uh, with uh, uh, using the word study so in your own subject again it, uh, you can determine what is fundamental research and what is applied research and uh, you can use all these things uh, to derive something from various forms so we will uh, continue we, i will continue this session uh, later uh, to if you have any comments you want me to explain on this in depth then please comment we will go into little more deep about understanding what is dependent variable what is independent variable and what is the um, structured uh, uh, structured questionnaire and what is semi structured questionnaire what is unstructured questionnaire so within these uh, kind of uh, fundamental research or applied research there are different uh, ways methods of approaching uh, these uh, research at one point of view or different point of view so we can discuss more on that you can comment for um, for a, a better session or a crash course in uh, the